Welcome back, Attack. I'm Scanlan Shore, and this is going to be my first impression review of the new action RTS coming to us real soon here, Total War Arena. Now, I am known for my first impressions, my gameplay with MOBA. I'm Sky the MOBA guy. I play a lot of MOBAs. I play every single MOBA. So, Total War Arena has me a little bit interested. I know Total War is more of a strategy game. You know, it's a strategy franchise. And I was a little bit afraid that we weren't really going to get those epic battles. I thought it was going to be a little bit similar to maybe Victory Command, where we do, we are controlling a squad, but it's not exactly like an army. However, the presentation for Total War Arena blew me away. Blew my socks off. Seriously. It looked and apparently it feels like Total War. It seriously is epic. Now, there's a lot of things that I like about the game, and as I played it and I started to sort of divulge the game, sort of to learn it, um, there I started to kind of also divulge some things that I don't like, okay? So, yes, as soon as you get into the game, I think it has a great first impression, you know? Uh, as soon as you lay your eyeballs on this game, it looks awesome, okay? So I think a lot of people who enjoy normal Total War, uh, the whole franchise, and then also who enjoy strategy games, Games, uh, competitive games uh, like from World of Tanks to normal MOBAs I think everyone is going to enjoy this game uh, but there's a couple of things that I want to clarify so for instance yes Total War Arena you do have what seemingly looks like an, an army at your disposal and then not only that but you aren't just playing 5v5 you are actually playing with full teams I'm not sure of uh, the total number was it like it was like 10 and v10 I don't know it was, it was a lot of people and uh, so that, that made it very very fun uh, but what I can say is that the game, even though you seemingly do have an army at your disposal, it's truly just three units, and then you do have, I believe, your special abilities and passives from those units. Uh, some, you know, are bowmen, some are spearmen, some are more defensive than others, and then also from your commander. You can choose your commander, and then you can also, you have a lot of strategic elements where you can equip different armors and weapons. So I'm not sure if that's going to technically be pay to win or not. Uh, definitely going to be kind of like a grindy pay slash play to win kind of thing going on there um, and that might sound very similar to World of Tanks which this game actually really reminds me of I know the controls are totally different but strategically uh, and maybe uh, tactically it's actually very very similar you have these maps which are kind of built similarly you have a similar number of people and it plays also very slow paced like it's really more about positioning tactics and strategy there's almost no mechanics whatsoever so yeah, uh, if you play World of Tanks, you're probably going to fall in love with Total War Arena. Uh, though you do have a different vantage point, it is going to be bird's eye view, or you know, it's going to be top down, and you are controlling multiple units. Uh, but you know, essentially, it is just like World of Tanks, since you can actually equip different parts to your well. Instead of a vehicle, you have your different units, your soldiers or whatever, uh, bowmen, uh, javelin throwers. I don't even know if they have Francescas in there, but they totally should have Fr Francescas. Uh, but uh, yeah, you have different units, and you can equip them differently. So you can kind of customize them, and you do have your sort of uh, buffs, boons, and bonuses that you get from having a different captain. So a little bit of customization there. Uh, actually, probably it might be a lot of customization, especially competitively. But I'm not, I'm not quite sure. You know, it's this is still a first impressions. This is still a surface, just slightly under the surface level evaluation of the game. Now it did ran, it ran pretty okay for me. I, I think a lot of people are probably not going to be able to play the game because you need a really good connection and you need a, a really good machine. But then again, it's not exactly the most mechanical game and it's not exactly the most fast paced game so even if it is running at a subpar uh, 60 FPS 30 maybe even 20 FPS it might still you know technically be playable uh, so you know it is a slower paced game and it looks really good I really like how we can zoom in and out and we, you know the camera angles are just really nice it's not a dedicated or isometric view like it is in League of Legends or other MOBAs no you can actually move your camera all around just like I guess you would in normally in Total War though I wish you could zoom in a little bit more that would be kind of cool but you yeah, know that's just flavor I guess but one thing that you will notice as you play this game more often or if you play it for a certain number of hours is that you're going to uh, need a, a lot of key commands. You know, there's a lot of strategic uh, commands that you can potentially input. Though at base at base value, you know, whenever you first get into the game, it's pretty much just click on the map and your army will go there. You do have three separate, I guess, sections or uh, like divisions of your army. And it depends. You can actually have different kind of units. So if you want to be somebody who actually spreads out across the map and is helping everyone kind of at the same time then that's a total possibility and as well inversely you know if you just want a death ball around with teammates or even pincer attack with a, a giant army or your three 
uh, divisions of your army, then you can totally do that. One thing that I think might be really popular is that uh, maybe everyone will have a different units or different sections in their division. So you can actually have, uh, you can have bowmen in the back, you can have uh, shield bearers with swords in the front, and maybe like spear throwers in the middle, and you can kind of orient uh, different kind of positions, and you can change around different units in there. And there's, I guess, kind of a lot of complexity there with not just your composition as well. You know, you can have different units in different positions, and of course you have your different uh, leaders that you can choose from, and you get different buffs and booms from that, but also with your different teams, and you know, whenever you're, you're coming up with strategies, which uh, team, which two uh, people would make the best pincer attack, which two people would make the best uh, defense you know to hold out the base the longest uh, so there's there's a lot of strategy there and a lot of tactics but again there is no mechanics in total war arena there's really not too much that you can do to micromanage because even though it does look like you are controlling an army it's still really three units you're controlling three units and they don't really move very quickly now whenever I was playing with a player I saw my teammate was actually uh, doing a couple of maneuvers one thing was that he was actually kiting backwards so that is something that you can do you can kite backwards and there's a couple of other maneuvers that you can do um, like I said before you can pincer attack there's is a fog of war so there is juking potential in this game especially uh, large globs and if you're going around a mountain or a large hill or some or like a forest there is potential juking but you it's it's very tactical like you have to really really uh, try and know what you're doing you can't just uh, randomly happen about it like you can in Dota 2 where you can just run around uh, the trees so Total War Arena is very specific okay whenever you commit to a strategy whenever you're trying to do anything you probably should actually do the math and know if you can do it or not because you're probably gonna get flamed in this game it's kind of all in or, or nothing really so if you lose you can just leave the game I mean that's it but if you die if your if your army dies and that's it you're done and so you're you're one and done just like world of tanks actually uh, there's so many things about this game that remind me of world of tanks from its customization to its monetization to you know some of the gameplay mechanics like how you can go into a match you die and then you can leave or you could just spectate it so a lot of this game reminds me of world of tanks which i think is a good thing i think a lot of people who like to take a lot of time who enjoy the grind who enjoy that amount of content and strategic depth they're really gonna find total war arena to be a great experience but I just want to say that even though this is an action RTS and it does look really massive and epic, and yes, it is a really awesome first impression, uh, just know that you're not going to have the crazy amount of micromanagement that you might be able to imagine. Like uh, if this was, I guess, like a StarCraft action RTS where you could like individually micro every single unit. This is not that. It's basically three units that look like an army each in itself. Uh, it's after that, that's, you know, that's pretty much it. That's what Total War Arena is. It is pretty freaking awesome. It looks great, first impressions, but how it's actually going to live up to the, the name of Total War and how it's going to compete with other more fast-paced uh, MOBAs, I, I'm unsure. It's an arena game, it's a Total War game, it's Total War Arena. I mean, that's really all I have to say, but I think it's going to have to, I'm going to have to play it a lot more to actually find out its true potential, or if there even is potential there at all, because I'm kind of on the fence about it, I'm unsure. But I do know one thing, I'm having fun. So whether it's going to be competitive, if it's complex, or, or not, you know, whatever it is, I'm having fun. And I think that's what matters. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm Skyline Shore with Attack Gaming. Like and subscribe if you want to stay notified of all these really cool, awesome games coming out. And please come back, Attack! And we'll see you again next time. Welcome back, Attack. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 free-to-play MMOs for this year, for 2015. And I think across all the genres for free-to-play, we've seen so much innovation in MOBAs, in MMOs, in, like, card games. We've seen so many new things this past year. And hopefully, maybe, probably so, 2015 is going to be just as exciting.